What is up, so this is Jay here, and today I wanted to add on a little bit more to my video that I posted earlier about the five essential skills that you should need. And I wanna go more in depth on Z counters because I wanna show y'all a way to lab it and actually work on it while also giving more detail on that. And I might do the same for the rest of the five. So with that being said, let's get into it. But first I wanna thank Backup Yellow for the idea because he commented, is there a specific advice for Z counters? I swear either I don't know the exact timing or it's not registering. So they gave me the idea of this video. I wanted to at least show appreciation. So when it comes to Z counters, it's really about the impact. You sorta of have the time for when you think the impact will be and then that's when you press the button, in my case pressing RB. And so if you time it perfectly, usually is a guaranteed Z counter. To get to the lab, you basically need to go to super training and then do training. So you need to pause it, go down to your training settings, go down to opponent settings, and then you wanna go over until you go to smash attack, follow up one. It don't really matter, but I prefer follow up one. And so from this point, you're able to just practice with the Z counters. And my advice for you is to definitely just take it slow. Don't get frustrated. This game could be very frustrating, I know, but don't let it frustrate you. Just take your time and do what you can. I'm not perfect either, and I will leave in some of my mistakes as well to show you that it takes time, but once you get into the groove and your flow, I promise you it gets easier.